Yes, it's panto time. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Here in Nuneaton, there's excitement as the audience arrive for tonight's performance of The Pied Piper of Hamlin. Backstage, it's Bedlam, as the cast and crew get ready to stage this very traditional pantomime. It's taken a year to prepare, but in less time, you could create something really special. Why not put on a panto at your school? They're fun, and they bring together the whole school, parents and community. It uses all the elements of literacy, reading and writing, speaking and listening, and a lot more. Music, dance, design. Just pick a well-known story. Invent a few modern and local bits to put in it. And try a few traditional comic techniques like, he's behind you. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. You could write some of it in rhyming couplets. Try writing some songs or adapting old ones. Put all that together and you've got yourself a show. Down at number 36 lived Dorothy and Stan, who tried to kill a hundred rats with a frying pan. But every night, at least one bite, the rats ensured they made, until at last they got their sweet revenge and passed to them the plague. In terms of writing the story, what we do is we'll always go back to the origins. So, for example, with the Pied Piper, just a ton of research, really, get as much information off the internet, from the library, on the original stories. But what can be done, I hear you cry, about this plague of rats? They surely know the answer is to fill the town with cats. We then write our own story. We start from scratch. We, we try and take on board as many of the, of the original elements of the story. Um, and we can spend something like six to six to eight weeks just writing almost a plan, if you like, a synopsis, a storyline, an outline. His gown is made of cat! Mm. If the story is weak, I think people kind of tend to lose interest. The sooner we rid the town of rats, the sooner we can get back to normal around here. Oh, very well, Oppo. Sophie, in you come, my dear. Way past your bedtime, you'll have bags under your eyes. I'm coming, Father, I won't be long. I think it's a really important sort of uh, theatrical experience for most children um, and parents alike. It's one of those first sort of times that the, a child will go to the theatre. I think it's really quite magical. Um, the songs, the bright costumes, I think it's a really, really magical time. <laughs> The dame forges this fantastic bridge between the, the audience and the stage. Shall I? I think that, from a performer's point of view, is very, very exciting. Some people find it very, very frightening, but I, I quite relish that, to be perfectly honest. Can this man deliver 100,000 filthy rats and send them down the river? Panto now offers pure family entertainment that caters for everybody from a six-year-old in the, in the family to grandma, you know, and everyone can come and enjoy it as a family. 